Hi, I'm Claire and this is my husband Nick. We met in an online chat room in 2001 and ended up getting married in 2006. We're a fairly normal, hard-working couple who love travelling and enjoying a drink or two. In early 2020, we decided we wanted a whole new life change and challenge. So we said goodbye to our jobs. We sold our Wiltshire farmhouse we packed up our things and made the move to France. In early 2001, I went back to the UK to finalise our house sale and pick up my Arga. I was on Facebook on an Escape to the Chateau fan club page when I saw this advert. I messaged Nick the advert, curiosity got the better of him and he went and arranged a viewing. With the instructions from me, I trust your judgement, if you think I'll like it, Put in an offer. The offer was accepted and we finally got the keys on the 10th of June 2021. Join us and our dogs Merlo and Flora as we renovate our Maison de Maitre. A bit of a grey morning today but that's okay it's warm. Um, today I'm working on this little thing here um, so the other day Claire and I marked out where she would like to position the greenhouse that she's bought and that's where it's going and she wants a concrete base for it my job so uh, I'll just put some bits of wood around there I'm just gonna get rid of the weeds put the fabric barrier down put some of the hardcore down um, before then we put concrete down so, uh, yeah, another little project. Right, well, that's the base all shuttered off with some hardcore in the bottom. It's getting on a bit now today, so I'm not going to make the concrete up today for that. I want to make it all up in one go. That's going to be a few mixes. But, uh, yeah, something little for me to be finishing off in the morning. Well, good morning. It's a chilly start to the day, but look, blue sky, sunshine. What more could you want? What more would you want to be doing in life apart from mixing up the concrete for the base of Claire's new greenhouse? So the mixer is on. This will be coming off soon, but it's a bit chilly. So, uh, anyway, haven't really got time to be standing around all day chatting to you. Sorry, I've got to get on with some work.
just to have a look at how my husband's getting on with the base for me. Knowing my husband by the end of today, there will be enough concrete in here and it will be going off enough to withstand a nuclear blast. That's just how he rolls. We're having a bit of a discussion at the moment about me keeping this Buddleia in the corner. I think it's nice, it's purple, something that's quite well established, but apparently it's something that just grows near train tracks that's horrible. So we'll see who wins on that one. What are you doing? You covers off and things are looking a little green and cold at the moment. But I've been told that uh, <laughs> I've been told that we can expect some improvements soon. Ta da A concrete base. So, well, tomorrow morning that should be solid. Let's hope the dogs don't find it in the meantime. Um, yeah, so it's the start of transforming this end of the garden. Need to do something about that buddleia. Um, I consider it a weed. Well, we didn't plant it and. You see them a lot in England on, on the side of railway lines. You know, if you're ever at Swindon Station, just look across the railway lines and you'll... The banks are covered in them. They may be nice for butterflies, but they're not nice for the garden, really, are they? That's what I've got. We've got a box. <laughs> This is like one of the magician tricks. All those things are going to come out of this box. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Got, how many rolls do you need? <laughs> Enough to get me up to the value for free delivery. <laughs> <clears throat> Gloves! Ooh. Which I do hope fit me. Perfectly. Like a glove. Did you say that? <laughs> So I've got one pair, and a second pair, and a third pair. God. And a fourth pair. <laughs> and a fifth pair. Really? <laughs> uh, uh, what? They do wear out, you know, a seventh pair. Oh my God. An eighth pair. <laughs> I've got a new pair, a second pair of safety goggles, because you keep losing mine. How did that... <laughs> You were the last one who used them <laughs> to render the sheep wall. And all of this oh God. comes with a free tool station catalogue. Oh, man shopping. I thought, oh. you'd, I thought you'd got me something lovely for our 17th that, wedding that, anniversary. Look at what you can get from tool station. Gloves. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Actually, it's a perfect timing because... That last pair of gloves is getting a bit dirty. Where are all of your other gloves? They've worn out. I'm not making this up. Look, look, look at this glove here. How many, you know, pairs of gloves do you need with, so you can give people thumbs up and <laughs> something coming from your that glove finger. Is, your glove is holy. You have a holy and glove and an unholy glove. <laughs> And you know, are you this just, is my health are you just, and safety. Are you just gonna leave all of those gloves on the table now and walk off? No, I'm taking a pair with me. Just so you can see what I see, here is the glove storage department of my husband's. 
right outside the kitchen door. Apparently these weren't up to the job either. You're gonna wait on them, Merlo. Good boy. So last week I got my new oven and I've really been enjoying it. Look at how my Yorkshire puddings went. Anyway, we had a trip out of the house last night Ooh, to less than a mile down the road to our local bio market. It was a very successful trip. Uh, we got some fruit and vegetables and we got half a chicken. But I made a historic discovery and I just had to share this with you. I found something that I have never, ever found before in France at this organic market. And I was just saying to you last week, never found any, never seen any whatsoever. But here it is. Kale in all of its glory. So I got some kale, I got some beetroot, I got leek. And I've got these carrots. Don't these look wonderful? These are going to be really like earthy and they're going to taste really like what carrots should do. So today is a good day. There's kale. Lovely sunny day here in the back garden. And I'm actually doing some planting along this border today. I went out yesterday and I went and got these trellises. There is three of them, there is one, there is two. And my husband is still to put one up. I'm not going too mad just yet because I'm waiting on another bulb delivery. Um, and I want to wait until I've got this final bulb delivery to just go whoosh and plant all of the bulbs in one go. In the meantime, however, um, I'm going to start with trailing plants up these trellises uh, and my first lot is clematis so the first in a clematis but then we also have this special plant that we've planted the dachshund plant I wonder how many dachshunds we can grow it's a flower bed not a dog bed few hours on and a little update. This eucalyptus was already here. Uh, we've got two different types of clematis. Ignore these, these are to go in further down the line once it's built. We have a rhododendron. We have a rhododendron. We have a jasmine in an obelisk. Have another, um, a different type of eucalyptus. Two different types of climbing passion flower, and then another jasmine under an obelisk. So it's starting to look a little bit garden like. Well, good morning. It looks like it's going to be a lovely day today. I thought I might be able to sit down and enjoy the spring sunshine but instead I'm here at the Jeet gonna do some rendering today but the first job on the list is get the windows covered to do it properly this time Right, well that didn't take long. I wish I'd done that first time around. Anyway, uh, that's all the windows covered up. Time to get that mixed on.
is a really wet mix so um, like I did with the first coat of render on the wall hopefully it'll go through the spray gun I cleaned the mixer I've cleaned the barrow everything is as clean as I can get it so hopefully there won't be any blockages either so I'm going to get this load out of the machine but load it up with the next lot so it can just be mixing while I'm putting this on the wall so uh, almost at the point of spraying almost There we go, finished rendering it. Huh. Long old day, but uh, yeah, I've achieved. Is it time for some birthday treats for the birthday boy? Oh, look at that. And for the little girly. Look, I got you a little one. Just for you. Enjoy. Not in bed. Oh. Go on then, completely ignore me and have your bone in bed. So today is Merlo's third birthday. Are you ready for your birthday dinner? Are you ready? We blow out the candles. Two, one. Yay. Birthday, birthday dinner. Yeah, we all take the hat off, don't we? Come on. Oh, birthday dinner. Oh. <laughs> oh, my birthday dinner. Merlot, are you ready for your birthday present? Oh, you're going to love this. Merlot. What is it? What is it? Sharky. Is it Sharky? Merlot. Sharky. It's Sharky. Look. Mummy made a new one. Mummy made a new sharky. Is that good? Made it with a tag which says B&M as well. Oh, That's sharky! Good. Oh, look Yesterday was our official day out. But I have been going to a couple of garden centres as well. Um, they seem to be my new favourite places. Ta da! <laughs> so today is going to be a big planting day. Um, one of the things that I have got is not just things for the walled garden with the pool in but last year the patio outside of our kitchen door um i had loads and loads of pots and 
they were really nice because on an evening after you'd finished you could sit outside have your dinner on the terrace and look at the lovely colours in these planted pots so I have started a couple of weeks ago with some pots um, I have many many more though <laughs> on the table we've got things like another eucalyptus got some marigolds uh, lavender a little tiny bay tree some jasmines uh, got some of the bulbs that I'm planting in the tubs today get those out of the sun a bit managed to find a hop plant uh, loads and loads of rosemary some clematis um, over there we've got a bougainvillea that's to go in the back garden I'm going to call it the back garden the back wall garden so um, yeah I've got quite a lot of planting to do today and all of the seedlings are out undercover enjoying the sun um, I'd also started to plant some agapanthus into pots and in this one here this is a, a calla lily um, I did have it labelled but Flora decided that the label wasn't good enough it's bright so yesterday I had my first day of potting things uh, and I got quite far but all of these pots under here are all different types of lavender lilies really just bulbs uh, all of these are coloured and then all the way down there I got more pots done so we should have quite a colourful seating area this year and then I am back out here again this morning with just a couple more pots to do we're in the kitchen together, aren't we? Yes. And we're preparing, aren't we? Yes. <laughs> we. <laughs> That's very French, dear. We. 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 <laughs> so we are preparing to put together the greenhouse. And the first thing that we're doing is... Watch... Having a coffee. Yes. <laughs> watching, watching the instructional video together, aren't we? We are. So say apparently it can be done in uh, two minutes and one second. Mm. And that thing there. Oh, that and those all just stay upright while you're doing this. They're not going to flap around. They're not going to fall out. No. They just all go in like that. <laughs> By this time it's like... <laughs> 70 degrees centigrade inside there. I hate you! <laughs> Oh, this looks really easy, doesn't it? Yeah. We can do that, can't yeah. we? I like the way they can rotate this greenhouse. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, just like that. Don't, yeah. Don't forget those eight screws that hold together the whole thing. <laughs> On a good day. <laughs> On a good day. Oh, there's the door. There's the door. Don't forget the door. Can you remember all of this? Yeah. And those clippy things on the yeah, end. Yeah, I'm not going to be scratching my head. No. 17 years of marriage soon. Do you think that we can make this together? <laughs> <laughs> you mean, can you hold the camera whilst I do it? <laughs> uh, this is why we've been married 17 years. You get it. <laughs> So we have box number one and we have box number two. Instructions, even though we've watched the video. So it should look like that. Right, Start time is half past two. Saturday, half two, April. Saturday, April. <laughs> April. I'm having the fun job of pre-sorting the bits out. As the person giving the pieces, I may have monumentally botched up here. <laughs> this is this is nine eight eight, and that there is meant to be nine eight eight, but it's not. And this is this is a nine nine nine. This piece is very similar to the correct uh, one, but that much shorter. I love you. <laughs> This is why I don't buy furniture from Ikea. 
happy Sunday everyone or happy Easter Sunday. Uh, last night in the end we downed tools especially after the mix-up with the door panel on the greenhouse. Uh, yeah we we kind of gave up after that just for just for the evening. So last night we had a treat, we had uh, an outing, we went out and we had fish and chips at Mr T's frittery again and it was absolutely lovely. <coughs> Uh, this morning, absolutely beautiful and sunny. Yesterday, I made the schoolgirl error of forgetting to put on sun cream, and I have a very, very red back today. Uh, yeah, ouch. I've done an awful lot of gardening this week, and I'm going to give you the update of the flowers in one big hit. So, here we go. So after our date night last night and kind of giving up a little bit with the greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> giving up a lot. Well, it's yeah. only because I gave you the wrong panel cover thing. But I've been working on it this morning. And strangely enough, every bit I fitted <laughs> was the right one. <laughs> Shall we show them the completed thing? Go on then. And there we have it, one completed greenhouse. One marriage still intact after building flat pack, nearly all the way together. And I think it looks quite nice. Pool's slowly going bluer. Hi. Hi. And welcome to Wine, Wine of, of the, the week. week. Couldn't wait for you. We had to open it and have some. What a glorious day. Yes, and what a good week. And yeah, look at, I mean, when I say glorious day, look, I've got my legs out. Woohoo. Woohoo. <laughs> well, this afternoon is a very nice glass of. A glass. Chateau de Beau site, got various grapes in there. Just refresh my memory, Sauvignon Blanc, Semillon Muscadel, and Sauvignon Gris. And very nice it is too, perfect. Mm. Cheers. And happy Easter if you're that way inclined. Thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please click like. And if you've not already done so, please consider subscribing. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram or Twitter. 
and you can find us on our website at www.thexpatbreaches.com and as a friendly reminder don't forget there's only 259 sleeps until Christmas Eve <laughs> does that count little naps that you have round the pool I don't know I've not had one yet neither have I <laughs> thanks no for watching for that. yes see you next week <laughs> bye <laughs>